And so one thing I've finally realized, taking these shortcuts ain't benefiting me in any way. It's obviously giving me failures. I'm not enjoying the process. And I found it really challenging. I had to go through this challenge and that was far from a quick fix. And even when I was in the process, I understood that, okay, we're not gonna take shortcuts anymore and I'm gonna do this properly, like without any shortcuts. But even when I got into this process of uh, my recovery, I still <laughs> tried to find shortcuts there. And what happens is like at the end of the recovery or in any process, any path that you're in, it starts to affect you when you're right in there at the end. So let me give you an example. Say, for example, if you're going for a job or some studies and, you know, you've took shortcuts through your whole studies. And then when you get a job at the end of it, it's going to be hard for you. And then you probably just leave your job and then probably just move from job to job, um, even at your work. So when we're taking shortcuts, we're not learning anything. We're not enjoying it. It's the biggest thing that we should be doing. We should be enjoying it. And we need to remind ourselves. One big thing is why are we doing this? We need to understand that. If we understand why we are doing it, I think that why of you trying to take shortcuts in the process will end. For example, when I was in my recovery journey, I did give up. Uh, and I thought, nah, I don't want to do this like recovery journey. And it was my mom um, who reminded me who I was, like who reminded me what I've done and why I'm in this path. I kind of woke up because you kind of be dazed when you're in this path, you're like, it's so challenging for you and you're struggling and so forth. And you're thinking like, what's the best shortcut I could make? Um, and you need someone there to remind you or you need to remind yourself that, look, like this is why I'm in this process. You need to understand why you're in it. Because what happens is there was the other why uh, which why I shouldn't be in it. So the other why, why I shouldn't be in a recovery, uh, addiction recovery process was maybe because it was helping me with self-medicating with my past trauma, helping me with uh, obviously depression and stuff like that. But I don't know, like in my previous videos, I don't know if you've watched them, that's only for a short period of time. Then it comes back worse. But all I felt was as long as it's helping me, I don't care about anything else. And that was my biggest why for staying in the addiction path. And I know a lot of people, I think that's the main problem as well because they're self-medicating or that's all they know or they feel better or like they just need because they've been having so many hits of that dopamine, the excitement, the happiness and that's all they want to keep consistently having and that will make them feel better. But that's the for that. Now, the why for why I'm in the addiction uh, recovery process and how to sort my life out needs to be bigger. So whether you're at work and at a different location now or whether you're studying to be someone else and to get a better job, you need to have that why and that why needs to be greater. Because if that why is much greater than why you shouldn't be in there, then you'll enjoy the process more and you'll tend to not take these shortcuts and go through this process thoroughly and truly. And before you start the process, before we start any process, make sure you look into correctly if someone's already in the process ask them for advice and that kind of shortcut shall i say is better than trying to cut corners and not learning anything the whole point of this is to learn more and if you're asking somebody that's got experience or if you're taking out more time on it and learning more about what you want to do and how to do it and then jump into that path it'd be easier for you. But what happens is when we jump into that path without any preparation, then we tend to get shortcuts because we weren't ready for it anyway. Uh, and we don't even know if you're doing the right thing. And when we're not doing the right thing, we're going through obstacles. And then we're trying to take shortcuts and try and circumvent and trying to get the best way possible out of that situation or that issue. But if you're learning it correctly, then you won't get that issue. Um, and even if you do face an issue, you'll already know how to deal with it because you've already done your preparation, you've already done your learning. You have people in place that you can ask or figure out with. So yeah, get, taking these shortcuts and trying to sort things out yourself, maybe at times, isn't a good idea at all. Now have a look at more videos that I've got on this channel. And until then, stay safe and live the life the way you want.